जी डॉक्टर्स इंदिरा अंजू हाई डॉक्टर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल पी जी डॉक्टर्स इंदिरा अंजू आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑर्बिट इन दैट टॉपिक आई विल शो यू डिटेल अबाउट ऑर्बिटल बोन एनाटोमिकल सीप वाल फोरामिन एंड स्ट्रक्चर पासिंग थ्रू दैट फोरामिन एंड सम अदर फीचर्स अबाउट द ऑर्बिटल बोन ड्यू टू दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मेनी टाइम्स एंड मेनी क्वेश्चन आस्ट इन द ऑर्बिट सो यू हैव टू फोकस सच टाइप ऑफ टॉपिक एंड वॉच टिल लास्ट दिस इज द ऑर्बिट यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट द ऑर्बिट आर इन बोथ साइड ऑफ द नेजल बोन एंड द ऑर्बिट लुक्स लाइक ए पिरामिड पिरामिडल सेप एंड इट इज ए कैविटी इन विच द आई बॉल आर फिक्सड एलॉन्ग विथ द मसल एक्सट्रेंजिक मसल्स एंड रोटेट द आई बॉल इन द ऑर्बिट सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑफिक एंड स्टार्ट विथ द ऑर्बिट दिस इज द मार्जिन ऑफ द ऑर्बिट एंड द बेस इज जस्ट इन साइड एंड दिस लुक्स लाइक इफ यू इमेजिन दैट दिस इज द लाइक ए पिरामिड ओके दिस इज द पिरामिड पिरामिड इज जस्ट लाइक इफ यू लुक द फोर वॉल फोर वॉल आर अरेज इन सच ए वे लाइक दैट एंड दिस इज द मार्जिन ऑफ ऑर्बिट एंड इट इज द बेस बेस आर इन साइड बेस आर इन साइड एंड सॉरी एपैक्स आर इन साइड दिस इज द एपैक्स एंड दिस इज द बेस दिस मार्जिन पिंक मार्जिन सोइंग यू द एपैक् बेस ऑफ द ऑर्बिट एंड दैट स्टार्ट विथ द सेप ऑफ द आई ऑर्बिट the shape of orbit is pyramidal and bilaterally situated in that the medial wall just if you imagine the structure the medial wall is just like that and the this is the pattern of the orbit so the medial wall is parallel while that lateral wall makes an angle with the medial axis so this is the base this is the apex so if we look then orbit is made up of the apex base and the four sided wall wall so wall is of superior wall inferior wall lateral wall and the medial wall four wall so start with the base the base is formed by base is formed by the the frontal margin of the frontal bone then that of the this is the zygomatic bone so the margin of the zygomatic bone this is the maxilla bone this is the maxilla and the zygomatic so the margin of the maxillary bone and this is the maxillary bone so part of the lacrimal nasolacrimal fossa which have two wall the anterior wall and the posterior wall so the margin of anterior wall of the nasolacrimal duct and after that the some part of the nasal bone and again the part of the frontal bone 
this is the margin okay the apex is made up of this the ring of the orbit where the extrinsic muscles originate and around the optic foramen this structure are called as the apex and you already know this is the base and this is the medial wall first of all i will show you the wall of the orbit this is the superior wall or roof okay the roof is formed by the this is the frontal bone okay sorry frontal bone so superior wall is formed by the orbital plate of the orbital plate of the frontal bone this is mainly form the superior wall after that if you look the inside inside to that this is the part of the frontal bone which form the laser wing this is the laser wing so the superior wall is formed by the orbital plate of the frontal bone and the laser wing of the sphenoid bone after that this is the lateral wall the lateral wall this is formed by the anterior surface of the greater wing of the sphenoid bone that means this is the greater wing of the sphenoid bone after that the orbital surface of the frontal process of the zygomatic bone this is the part of the zygomatic bone and after that the this is the sphenoid bone so the lateral wall is formed by the anterior surface of the greater wing of the sphenoid bone and the orbital surface of the frontal process of zygomatic bone next to that the floor is formed by floor is formed by this is the part of the zygomatic bone so here this wall is formed so i am asking about the inferior wall or floor floor is formed by the orbital surface of orbital surface of zygomatic bone okay next to that is the this is the maxillary bone so this part be the part of maxilla and called as the orbital surface of maxillary bone this is the you you can easily say this part is bigger than this part and third is the another is the orbital process of the palatine bone this is the part of the palatine bone so the greater is the maxillary part then after the zygomatic part after that the palatine part so main contribution to the inferior wall or floor is the maxillary process and in the lateral wall the main contribution will be main contribution will be the sphenoid bone okay and in the roof this is frontal bone then asking about the medial wall medial wall is formed by the start with inner to outer inner to outer 
द द इनर मोस्ट पार्ट इनर मोस्ट पार्ट इज द बॉडी ऑफ द दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ द स्पेन वाइड बोन एंड मेक इट क्लियर दैट द दिस इज स्पेन वाइडल बोन बॉडी ऑफ स्पेन वाइड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस इज द बॉडी ऑफ स्पेन वाइड दिस इज द लेजर विंग दिस इज द ग्रेटर विंग सो आफ्टर दैट इफ यू लिक लुक एट दिस साइट दिस स्लाइट ग्रेनिस स्ट्रक्चर is ethmoid bone so the named as the orbital plate of ethmoid bone due to in the orbit and bone is ethmoid so called as the orbital plate of the ethmoid bone and some including the lamina papyracea next after that this whitish part whitish part is the lacrimal bone so this is also called orbital part of the lacrimal bone okay next to that is the this is the some part of the maxilla so this is called as frontal process of frontal process of maxillary bone okay frontal process of maxillary bone so again for revision purpose this is the superior wall superior wall is formed by the orbital plate superior wall is formed by the orbital plate of the frontal bone and some part of the laser wing laser wing and lateral wall is formed by the greater wing of sphenoid bone and the another one is the orbital surface orbital surface orbital surface of frontal process of zygomatic bone the word is very important orbital surface of frontal process of the zygomatic bone then then the another one is the this part is the orbital surface of the zygomatic bone then orbital surface of the zygomatic bone and the orbital surface of the maxillary bone and the <coughs> orbital process of this is the process so orbital process of the palatine bone and medial wall is from inside body of sphenoid body of sphenoid and then this is the ethmoid bone okay the bony plate of ethmoid bone and the orbital surface of the lacrimal bone then then after the orbital surface of the sorry frontal process of the maxillary bone this is the wall structure and then the what is the foramen foramen in that this is called as this is called as the this is called as supra orbital fissure and this is called as the infra orbital fissure and supra orbital fissure and arrangement of infra orbital fissure it just like a v shaft structure v shaft that means v the both arm of v is towards the lateral side okay v so if i will draw the both high then this looks like this pattern 
so v the arm of the v is towards the lateral side and along with the supra orbital fissure a fissure is in that is the called as optic foramen and you can easily say that the supra orbital foramen is situated in between the body of a sphenoid and laser wing of a sphenoid and the greater wing of a sphenoid bone <coughs> in the inside to that a foramen is situated called as foramen rotundum okay and this already is optic foramen this is ethmoid bone above the ethmoid bone the two foramen are situated which are between the ethmoid bone and the frontal bone okay orbital plate of the frontal bone in that maybe two foramen maybe three foramen the if two foramen is present the anterior part is called the anterior ethmoidal foramen and posterior ethmoidal foramen if the three foramen is present then called anterior foramen medial foramen and posterior ethmoidal foramen after that this is the structure and is it is called as nasolacrimal duct the this is the fossa nasolacrimal fossa in that nasolacrimal duct passing to and opening to the inferior wall of the sorry lateral wall of the nasal bone next this is the infra okay inferior orbital fissure this inferior orbital fissure Th this continued as continues as the inferior orbital foramen sorry it it becomes a canal and it open in the inferior margin below the inferior margin of the orbit and known as infra orbital foramen okay the fissure is going to the canal and it open into the infra orbital foramen so some structure passing through that structure and along with i will show you the what is the cartilaginous ring the cartilaginous ring are formed along with the margin of optic foramen and to that so that the structure passing through this you can easily remember in that structure you already know that the the this frontal bone that means the roof is communicate with the the frontal bone to the frontal part of the cerebrum okay and lateral wall communicate with the laterally and if you look that then it is communicate with the temporal bone and here the greater wing of a sphenoid that means it communicate with where to the medial wall okay posterior to that is the medial wall sorry to the temporal part of the cerebrum and the inferior part the inferior part communicate with the nasal bone okay nasal cavity and medial wall communicate with the ethmoid part 
एंड द पार्ट टू दैट ऑफ द फ्रंटल बोन फ्रंटल पार्ट ऑफ द सेरिब्रम एंड दिस ओपनिंग कम्युनिकेट्स विथ द डायरेक्ट टू द ऑर्बिटल सॉरी ऑप्टिक कैनाल डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेट टू द इन्फेरियर पार्ट ऑफ द सेरिब्रम आई विल शो यू इन द लेटर एंड देर आर ए लेक्राइमल फोसा द लेक्राइमल फोसा आर सिचुएटेड इन दैट इनर पार्ट द ग्रूब आर प्रेजेंट एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज इन लेक्राइमल फोसा वाइल दैट ऑफ दिस डिप्रेशन इज नॉन एज लेक्राइमल सैक आर लोस्ड इन द दिस ग्रूप एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द लेक्राइमल ग्रूप वेयर द लेक्राइमल सैक आर द मेन सिचुएटिंग स्ट्रक्चर एंड दैट वेन द लेक्राइमल सेक्रेशन स्टार्ट देन द through the capillary action to the upper and lower after the blinking of the eyeball if eyeball is that internally it is through the capillary action going to the the sac group and passing through the nasolacrimal duct when you very severely crying and uh, start uh, lacrimation then the main part of the lacrimal matrix secretion going through this and to the nasal secretion is a start going on so this is the feature the structure passing through that the first the this is the anterior ethmoidal foramen the anterior ethmoidal foramen carries the anterior ethmoidal nerve anterior anterior ethmoidal nerve which are the branch of anterior ethmoidal nerve is the branch of the naso ciliary nerve so and another one is the anterior ethmoidal vessel so that means nerve A structure is nerve vein and artery these are passing through the anterior ethmoidal foramen and the posterior ethmoidal foramen same thing to that so the here the posterior ethmoidal nerve posterior ethmoidal vein posterior ethmoidal artery these are passing through that structure so you can't miss the anterior ethmoidal nerve is the part of the naso ciliary nerve okay the structure is orbital foramen sorry optic foramen the optic foramen carries three thing three thing is if you remember this are the artery artery along with sorry this is the optic nerve sorry this is the optic nerve along with here the ophthalmic ophthalmic artery are there not optic artery you have to remember ophthalmic artery and optic nerve and along with the if this artery are present around that if nerve artery are present along with that a sympathetic chain plexus 
आर प्रेजेंट अराउंड द ऑप्थेलमिक आर्टरी सो द स्ट्रक्चर पासिंग थ्रू द ऑप्टिक कैनाल इज द ऑप्टिक नर्व ऑप्टिक नर्व एंड ऑप्थेलमिक आर्टरी एंड द सिंपथेटिक प्लेक्सस अराउंड द ऑप्थेलमिक आर्टरी एंड नो ऑप्थेलमिक भेन पासिंग थ्रू दैट एंड नो ऑप्टिक आर्टरी आर देयर सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ओनली थ्री थिंग्स पासिंग थ्रू द ऑप्टिक फोरा में और ऑप्टिक कैनाल नेक्स्ट इज द सुपरा और बाइटल फीसर और सुपेरियर और बाइटल फीसर दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर एंड द वन थिंग इज दैट द हियर ए टैंडिनस रिंग टैंडिनस रिंग डिवाइड दिस इंटू द फॉलोइंग फॉट वॉट द सुपेरियर और बाइटल फीसर वन इज द मिडिल पार्ट दैट मीन्स द विथ इन द रिंग इज द मिडिल पार्ट एंड अपर एंड मिडिल पार्ट दैट मीन्स विद इन द रिंग एंड स्ट्रक्चर पासिंग थ्रू दैट इज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इज दैट द so that the if you make a, a ring sorry if you make a ring the part is divided into the upper part middle part and lower part this upper part is the also called as the lateral part due to it is laterally situated and this is the part of middle part and this is the lower part is called as due to the structure is medial so called as medial part so first of all the what is the structure passing through the lateral part the upper part is that so the upper part carry first of all trochlear nerve that means fourth cranial nerve okay next frontal nerve then lacrimal nerve and superior ophthalmic vein <coughs> and the recurrent recurrent meningeal branch of the lacrimal artery and the orbital and orbital branch of the middle meningeal artery and some branch of ophthalmic artery also so you can easily remember by the first nerve is the upper region is the t4 sorry fourth cranial nerve and after that the frontal lacrimal okay and you already know l f and the t l f t indicates liver function test and you can remember by this the l indicates lacrimatory nerve front this is the frontal nerve and t for the trochlear nerve and along with some artery are there like that lacrimal this is the recurrent meningeal branch of the lacrimal artery and the some artery continue with the meninges so the orbital branch of the middle meningeal artery and some ophthalmic artery are there in the structure in the optic canal i have already told and in the middle part if i told the middle part the middle part is that means within the ring and lateral and medial medial part are the out of the tendinous ring of g in the middle part there is trick to remember <coughs> it is 
divided like that upper and lower this is the in the ring in the ring the nerve is divided like that upper lower lateral and the medial so how can you remember the upper is third cranial nerve third cranial nerve upper division lower is the third cranial nerve lower division okay and due to this is the medial side and medial side is nasal bone are present so you can remember you have to remember that the nasal bone is medial side so the in the ring the medial side is nasociliary nasociliary nerve okay and lateral side this is the third so this is the sixth cranial nerve okay so the easy remember upper part lft that means four here below that four and here is a three upper division lower division then nasociliary nasal side and lateral side adjacent that means sixth cranial nerve this is the arrangement in that and in the medial part sorry this is the tendinous ring and this is the upper part lft here the arrangement is like that so already know third third medial side nasociliary lateral side abducent and in lower side in the lower side of the tendinous ring of gin is the some continuation of here the internal carotid artery going passing through that lower structure so the plexus of the okay the sympathetic nerve are present there so the nerve will be sympathetic sympathetic nerve of internal carotid artery along with vein are present this vein is the inferior ophthalmic vein vein so the vein if i told about the vein the ophthalmic vein are superior ophthalmic vein and inferior ophthalmic vein superior ophthalmic vein passing through the lateral part okay or upper part and inferior ophthalmic vein is passing through the inferior part and the ophthalmic artery are passing through the optic canal okay this is the main feature how you can remember then after the inferior orbital fissure the inferior orbital fissure this is such a passing only the zygomatic due to this is the zygomatic bone the you can say the zygomatic part of the maxillary nerve maxillary nerve is passing through that and the infra orbital nerve which passing through this canal and open to the inferior orbital foramen okay which are the branch of the maxillary nerve and this communicates vein 
that means the inferior ophthalmic vein here inferior ophthalmic vein continue through this and some pterygoid plexus of vein are, are also passing through that this is the inferior orbital fissure due to some you have look at the internal structure this is the foramen rotundum i will show you the image of such so for revision purpose you can easily say that this is the this is the optic nerve ophthalmic artery and the around that is the sympathetic plexus and the in the tendinous ring tendinous ring there is a, a, a super part inferior part this is the upper branch of the sorry this is the superior branch of the oculomotor nerve and the inferior branch superior inferior and medial part there so it is the nasolacrimal sorry nasociliary and this is the lateral part then the absent nerve and here the inferior ophthalmic vein are there and in the upper part the superior ophthalmic vein are there so i uh, hear the l f t are there okay and this is the branch communicating with medial meningeal artery with lac lacrimal artery so this is the main feature of the orbit and a structure passing through that here the something this is the tendinous ring of g in that the extrinsic muscles of the eyeball are situated originated and this is the part of that muscles and which are originated from the tendinous ring of the gym thanks for watching my video have a nice day any queries regarding this video please write in my comments box thanks again